Today, let's practice collage. A collage is a picture that is made by combining different types of paper, like construction paper, tissue paper, and even photos. Before we make our own collage, let's learn about some collage artists. Henri Matisse is one of the most famous collage artists, even though he didn't make many collages until much later in life. He mostly painted and created sculptures. In 1941, Matisse underwent surgery that left him bedbound, meaning he couldn't get up to paint or sculpt. Instead, he began creating collages. He started out small, but many of his collages ended up filling an entire room. Injadeka Akunili Crosby is a mixed media artist who moved to the United States from her home country of Nigeria in the 1990s. She currently lives and works in Los Angeles, California. After moving to the States, Injadeka went to college in Philadelphia and then earned a Master of Fine Arts degree from Yale. She married another artist named Justin, who is from Texas. Her artwork often displays the union between two cultures. Injadeka uses collage and oil paint in her artwork. Looking at her art, which parts look like they are collaged on and which parts look painted? You can pause the video to take a closer look. Hannah Hoke was an artist from Gotha, Germany. She worked with the Red Cross during World War I before she became an artist. Hannah Hoke was one of the first people to create photo montage, which is a type of collage in which an artist pastes actual photographs or pictures from magazines, newspapers, or books to make a new picture. By cutting up different photos and pasting them together, you can end up with a pretty silly looking image, but Hannah's art actually had a very meaningful message. She was a strong advocate for women's rights, which means she spoke up for women to have the same rights and freedoms as men. Now that we've learned about some collage artists, let's make a collage of our own. For this skill builder, I have my sketchbook, a glue stick and bottle, scrap papers, scissors, and a pencil. At the top of my page, I'm going to write the word collage. I also drew a cute little shape around it just for fun. You don't have to do that. Then I'm going to draw a square. This is where the first skill is going to go. Our first skill is going to be gluing with a glue stick. Going to get some paper, some scissors, and my glue stick, and then I'm gonna use a pencil to draw a square. I'm using the corner of the paper as two lines for the square because I don't need to cut a square out from the center of the paper. By doing this, I'm saving paper. I'll uncap my glue stick and I'm gonna put glue on the smaller piece of paper, so the square, instead of my sketchbook paper. I'll press it down and then I need to roll my glue stick back down before I cap it. That way I prevent a mess for someone else. I'll draw another square here for my next skill, which is going to be gluing with liquid glue. Now instead of cutting out a square, I'm going to cut out a circle. So I'm going to draw a circle near the edge of my paper. Once again, we don't need to cut it out of the middle. And then when I'm cutting out a circle, I'm going to turn the paper as I'm closing my scissors to cut. This will give me a nice smooth curve. Then I'll get my liquid glue to open it, I need to turn the small pointy cap. Then I'm going to very gently squeeze out some very small glue dots near the edge of my circle. I don't need to put glue in the middle because if the edges are glued down, the middle's not going anywhere. The glue dots should be small enough that when you press your shape down, the glue doesn't ooze out the sides. I need to make sure I twist the cap back the other direction so it doesn't clog up. Okay, the next skill is going to be creating texture. So I drew another box here. I'm going to be creating a grassy texture, so I'll grab some greenish, sort of yellow green paper. I'm gonna measure out the size and just make little marks for how big the grass should be. Again, I'm using the edge of the paper, not cutting it out of the middle. To create the shape of the grass, I'm going to cut a zigzag. Now again, this is creating the shape, not the texture. 
Remember, texture is how something feels, so we'll have to create that a little bit later. Also notice how I'm turning my paper when I need to change directions instead of turning my scissors to point back towards me. Okay, let's create some texture. I am going to make little snips that don't go all the way through the paper. They just go about halfway through, and these snips are very close together. So I'm actually kind of creating blades of grass here. Now I'm using my liquid glue again, making tiny dots on the bottom where there aren't a bunch of little snips, closing my glue, and then gluing it down. After I press down the bottom, I'm gonna fluff up the top so that those blades of grass actually stick out and it feels sort of grassy. Texture. Okay, the next skill is going to be gluing tissue paper. So I made another square, which is where my tissue paper is going to go. I'm gonna use liquid glue for the tissue paper. And I'm just going to tear a small piece of tissue paper Then I'm gonna crinkle it up and shape it how I want it. I'm gonna lay it out how I'm gonna glue it first, and then I can create some glue dots along the path that I want my tissue paper to be glued down. I'm going to press the tissue paper onto those glue dots, and I'll need to hold them for just a little bit to make sure it sets up. We're gonna do two more skills here. So I'm gonna draw another square, this is going to be a photo montage. So I'm going to find some pictures from these scrap magazines and calendars that I have and put them together. Okay, I found my two pictures that I'm going to combine together. So the first thing I'm gonna do is sort of cut around the first subject and find my second picture and I will cut around that as well. I don't wanna tear out the whole page because maybe somebody else wants to use those sunflowers. I'm only gonna cut out what I need. Next, I'm going to very carefully cut around the subject. So my subject is this man holding this cup. I wanna cut out the background and again, I'm turning my paper instead of my scissors. That way my scissors are never pointed at me. Okay, I'm going to use a glue stick for this. So I'll flip him over, I'll put glue on the back and then cap my glue and I'll stick him on. Now I'm cutting out my sunflower. Since this is such a small piece of paper, I'm actually going to use just two or three tiny little dots of liquid glue, close it up, and then I'm going to put the sunflower so it looks like it's sticking out of the cup. So I'm creating a new picture with photographs. The very last skill we are going to do is mixed media. So I'm combining collage materials with drawing materials. I'm just gonna use a pencil. Again, I'm going to find a picture from this magazine. All right, I think I'm gonna use that bouquet of flowers. So once again, I'm cutting around it. I'm not tearing out the whole entire page. Then I will carefully cut out the flowers in the vase. going to glue down this face of flowers then I'm going to roll my glue stick back down and cap it so it doesn't create a mess for someone else or dry up then instead of using another picture or more collage paper for the background I'm going to draw a background so by combining a drawing material and collage materials that's what makes this mixed media Great job completing your collage skill builder. See you later.